the, there are many ways to add information in the, in the uh, process condition information in the ISPEN high seas and in the WC I will show you one, one type also but let's start with the WC uh, if you want to know the temperature pressure of your, your streams you have the option to go to the flow sheet modify and check the temperature and pressure it is uh, one way to show information related to temperature, related to pressure, and what happens is that all your streams will, will, show, uh, will show the information if you check these, these uh, options here. And the asterisk means that it is a hand input. And the, the other ones, when we, we don't have the asterisk, it means that it is a calculated input. But I usually I don't use this way, especially when we have big, big process simulations. I don't want to, to know every, every information in all streams. I don't want to, to use that. So I will remove that. And what I usually do is add a table. So if I click one time in the material stream, and I click with my right side of my mouse, I can go to show table. And this way, I am able to add some information that is interesting to me. So here, I have the temperature, uh, SPI standard, the ISPAN high seas will give you the temperature, the pressure, and the molar flow. And let's add also the information also to the energy stream. So it's the same, highlight that click with the right button of your mouse and click on show table. And here the standard is that we have the heat flow. I don't want the heat flow, I want the power. So what I can do to solve this, click two times in the show table and I can add more var variables. And there are a set of variables available in the ISPEN high seas. So you can search or you can look in the list and what I want to is the power so let's bring the power to the process simulation and I don't want the heat flow let's remove that so this way every time that I do a changing in my process conditions the power will be calculated and I have a quick verification uh, about the results so the, the, it is possible to do something similar in the, in the WC, but instead of clicking with the right button in the, in the stream, what we'll do is click in the properties table. When I click on that, the, this square it will be loaded to your flow sheet and I need to click two times on that. Just to, I will not use stream 1 because I didn't use stream 1 in the Aspen High Seas. Let's use the stream 2. Okay. I don't need to click on the stream to do this procedure in the WC. What I need to do is proper table, click to time, and now I will choose the stream. Okay. That is different from Aspen High Seas. In Aspen High Seas, I choose the, the stream with the mouse. Here, no. So I want pressure. Uh, I want temperature, pressure, and molar flow as we have in the Aspen High Seas. Okay, I check this, and if I close, I have this to my process simulation. So let's zoom out of it to a process, and we can verify that pressure is the same, the temperature is the same, but the molar flow is a little bit different because the calculations is a little bit different. Let's do the same for the power or for the energy required. Proper table, two times, and look for energy stream and energy. And in this case, the PWC only gives us the option for energy, energy flow. And I have here the, the information of energy in kilowatts per hour. And the I spend high seas, I have the option to add many information related to, to the energy stream. Okay, here in the WC we have this one. But it is enough for us.